Hello, I am Pete Laxton, and this is how you assemble a Levino mini computer. Now, this that you're looking at right now is the motherboard. It's big and complicated, but it's not that hard. And the thing the screwdriver is pointing at is the CPU, or the brains of the computer. Now, the first thing we'll be installing is the RAM. The RAM is really easy to install. You can tell by the little break in the chip right there, that side goes out, and you just slide it in, and pop it down, and bam, you've installed the RAM. Now, the next part we are going to be installing is the heat sink. The heat sink draws, uh, it goes right above the CPU and draws heat away from it. There are two screws to this. All you gotta do is put them in the right holes and screw them in tightly. Now, the next thing we will be installing is we will be putting the motherboard inside the actual computer case. Now this case really all it does is it keeps everything like together and from breaking and stuff like that. It's your normal case. It's like a phone case. This takes a little bit of practice and you got to get kind of good at it. But once you're there, it, it gets pretty easy. There are five screws total to the motherboard. And they're in the four corners and the middle. So these screws are fairly small, so try not to lose any. And you just screw them on there and you install the motherboard. One minute, once we get this done. And now you are halfway done to, in, to making your computer. Now, next we are installing a chip. And what this chip does is it essentially, um, it allows for the Wi-Fi, to it, it processes the Wi-Fi to the computer. Now, this chip, it goes barcode side up. And right here, there's this really small cord. And it goes on these little hinges. And all you got to do, this one, this is really tricky. You snap it on there and you screw it. And once you've got it detached, you slide it in there. And there is one screw that comes with it, and you gotta make sure the screw side is facing out. And that also attaches to it. That is the thing that um, allows, that picks up the Wi-Fi signals and allows them to go into the computer. Now you just slide this in, and it should, again, another kind of tricky part of uh, building the computer. And there's one screw. The screw goes right in the front. This one's about the size of the motherboard screws, so um, it's small. Now, the next thing we'll be installing is the fan. And the fan, essentially, it just it helps to cool the computer. And what it does, there are four screws. The, the screws are the longest, in, or the second longest in the set. And the, uh, this one's pretty easy to install. The barcode should be facing out and the wires facing in. And there is a plug that you have to plug into the motherboard to allow the fan to work and power. Uh, the screws are in the four corners of the fan. You just plug it in. It should be plugged into the uh, these little white things. And it should be plugged in the second one. So next we are installing the memory bank. This is the biggest part. And it only has one screw. And the screw is really big. So it's pretty easy to install. Now what this does, it essentially just kind of keeps the memory for all the computers, you know, all your saved files and stuff. And then that Wi-Fi uh, detector from earlier, it just put goes right on there. Now you're almost done. You have one last step left. Your last step, make sure all the cords are inside so they don't get cut or pinched in the side and, you know. And you have one step left, and that is to put the top on the computer, and you simply just slide it on there, pop it on, and boom, congratulations. You have just assembled a mini computer. Good job. All right, if you have any questions, you can ask our uh, four people standing up front, and have a nice day.